Welcome back, Dungeoneers. It's Sunday afternoon, and that can only mean one thing. It's time to play Dungeons and Dragons. You're you're watching Dice and Dungeons, and I'm here at the table with. I'm David Wong. I play a nine-ish out of ten bard. Hmm. I'm Nicole Bates. I play Sorian Sewell, the druid who does not want to be crushed by rocks. Why not? It's not uh, fun. <laughs> have you tried it? Yes. I'm Greg. I'm playing also as Ralph and Furbog fighter. Not dead yet. That's always a good thing. Mm. And I'm Alexis Bates, your trusty dungeon mistress. Before we dive into some of our announcements today, I some have... Some of our announcements. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, a correction to make about the previous episode. During that episode, I named the cult in the show as the Enthalpic Order. Uh, that was just a flub on my part. They are not the Enthalpic Order. That is one of the groups that I didn't necessarily mean to reveal, but have now done so. <laughs> the group that they've been fighting is the Entropic Order. Um, they follow the god Entrope rather than Enthalp. I realized it moments after I said it, but decided to just keep rolling with it so that I didn't break the tension in the scene and uh, kind of lead with the drama and then do this afterwards. So... That's how they will be referred to going forward. And sorry for the confusion, everyone. Why Why are we referring to them forward? I thought we destroyed them. We did not destroy the gun. No, oh, that's right. We just destroyed some sort of weird thing. Weird that. thing. Made and if paper. you like confusion, check out our improv sessions mm. at patreon.com slash Dyson Dungeons because they're very confusing. Yes. Um, they're one of many things that you can access by becoming a patron, including uh, DM notes from our DM, which are most likely redaction free, unlike this last episode. Um, That's patreon.com slash Dyson Dungeons. Wow. Yeah, I was trying to... Nice saving throw. I do make a couple of... I wouldn't call them redactions, but I do occasionally make corrections when I'm going back and looking through the old notes. If there's typos, <laughs> I'll fix the typos before <laughs> I post them on Patreon. Or I'll ask about so where that... Uh, raw, <laughs> unfiltered, on in illegible. That's that's correct. They're legible, <laughs> okay. which is their, their wow. most... Uh, admirable quality. Admirable quality, yeah. That they are <laughs> legible. And if you like things that are legible, you'll like our other sponsor, Geekified, whose name is legible. On Geekified, their Facebook, right? On their Facebook page. You can read it there. Geekified, of course, <laughs> is a tabletop gaming store in Vinton, Iowa, where you can pick up all your supplies for a tabletop or playing game needs. They are doing sales live now through, uh, I think it's Whatnot they've switched to. That's how it is. Yeah. And they're pretty cool. They're all live sales. They post a time. They live stream it. You get to bid on stuff, and you can throw in prizes or in points as you buy. You have different items, and they ship them right to you. So if you want to find out when they're doing that next, you can head on over to the Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash Geekified Vinton, or just search on Facebook for Geekified Vinton, and you'll find them. Thank you, Geekified, for your ongoing support, and remember, everyone, to support your local gaming store. And with that, Dungeoneers, I'm going to say, let's roll. Last week on Dyson Dungeons, Midnight Brunch faced down the cult that had been dwelling in the sewers of Drogmara, known as the Entropic Order. They had an intense battle with an immensely powerful entity, and now they must escape 
a collapsing sewer. We rejoined them as they enter a place that, strangely, seems wholly unfamiliar to them. This is wholly unfamiliar to me! Shut up! Run, 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 (laughs) run, 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 run! run, run. Stop saying run and run! (laughs) (laughs) I take a run action. Uh, (laughs) We... We, yeah. go, we go in the totally. only direction that's available to us. Yes, I go up. As we can. And okay. then right. You find yourself in this room, so you want to go... Yes, right. They want to go the only way we can... Oh, east. jeez. East, 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 east. East? You're just yeah, keep east. going east. East, 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 east. East, stop. East. East. Okay. <laughs> is the ceiling still collapsing behind us? As you're running, the ceiling is collapsing behind you. Things start falling down. You are running from basically the epicenter of some sort of shockwave that's now crumbling everything around you. So as you pass, passages begin to close off, and every choice that you make might lock you into some horrible fate. Please. <laughs> yeah, we go east. Yeah. yeah. East. All right. You go east. east. It's east. a straight line. East. 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 North. Oh, north. 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 Okay. You run down the hall, finally reaching the end of it. You uh, decide. Oh, I should probably do a perception check. Taking north. East, too east, late east, 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 east. You divert yourself eastward down another branching uh, path, north. reaching a dead end where you can no, go north no, or no, south. North. North. East. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you keep going further east, hit a wall no, again. North, north, north. Oh, no, there's more east. There's north. Okay, north. We'd north. have to go a little south to go to that east. East! <laughs> yeah. North! North. <laughs> north. East, 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 east. <laughs> north. Your, your loud noises will make it collapse faster. East, east. east. <laughs> north, east, east. East, east, no, where, it's where a room. Yeah, you found yourself in a room. It's clearly one of the break rooms that you've uh, become so familiar with. No, we oh, don't no, want no. a break room. <laughs> Not no. south, can we go south or is it collapse signed? Wait, hold yeah. up, is there a club sandwich available? <laughs> Are there any interesting mugs? <laughs> um, the southern passageway is still open for a moment. Do we want to go south and east or north? Ten, north. Nine. North, north, north. north. You head north uh, out of the break room. East! Oh my god. Going east. Going east, the rooms are collapsing behind you. North. Everything is east. crushing behind you. North. Is that a gate? You found yourself in a passageway. What do you do? I, I, we're, off we're off screen, screen. now. What? <laughs> we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> North. Are, are all of those gates shut that we're running by? Those black lines? Is that? Those two are shut. Okay. We North. North. You hit north, and you find that this particular gate is open. Oh. Well, go through it. <laughs> Run through it. <laughs> you dive. Well, we open it first. <laughs> you dive through the gate, and you hit a somewhat familiar sluice way. Of course. I push nine st- No. <laughs> I'm starts- already on the ground. <laughs> Are we sliding down the sluice? Yes, you're, sist- you're sliding down a very steep sluice way, going through all sorts of disgusting materials. Mm. Better in the poop pits than dead. Well, <laughs> we don't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After sliding for what could be two, three, four hundred yards, uh, getting ever quicker, it starts to level out. Oh, that's and then you see a light at the end. A light at the end of the tunnel? Yes. Oh. And just Do, as this Should light, we go to the, I don't yeah, think, going poop, to the light is not a good thing. Glow. Just as you <laughs> s- see that's this what you light, <laughs> the passage starts to level out and you slide down, skidding maybe 50 feet into a pool of thick <coughs> muck. I heard a skid oh, mark, yeah, but muck. this is ridiculous. I'm, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we're not making any poop jokes or anything. <laughs> Where's the light coming from? It looks like the end of the tunnel. You don't know what it is. The like difference in the light you've been in compared to this, it's just blinding and you aren't sure what the light is. But I have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> this is light vision, you need. <laughs> oh, yeah, we don't yeah, have sunglasses, yeah, you need do some we? light vision. I right. squint into the light. It's I... slightly blurrier around the edges and more focused in the middle. I gather yeah. muck together and make a crude pair of <laughs> snow snow blinders. I goggles. just walk into okay. the light. I accept my We're not doing that. <laughs> so nine. Can we walk, walk in this stuff? Yeah, slowly, slowly, but yes. Mm-hmm. I turn thick. into a crocodile and start swimming forward. Oh, poop crocodile! 
You can jump on my back. It's a, not okay. a crocodile, Why not? but an alligator was found outside of a Michigan apartment this week, like a full-grown one, well, like 10 feet there. long. Huh. We have like I have no idea how I got there, but I, I keep seeing articles on I, it. I turned into one of those so, huge crocodiles, you know, like a saltwater crocodile. Was mm-hmm. it just waiting for someone to and say, you see you later, can alligator? Jump on my back. Oh, let's go do that. So you turn into a large saltwater crocodile, and they all jump on my back. Yeah. All right, you are, you know, wiggling through the muck. Mm-hmm. Uh, nines, did you decide to hop on the saltwater crocodile? It does. Well, if I'm in front of it, it's going to eat me. <laughs> no. And if I'm behind it... You'll get tail oh, bashed. Okay. Yeah, I'll get, get, I might poop on yeah, you. Yes, I'm worried about your <laughs> particular poop. That's the one I'm allergic to. <laughs> I get on the shark. Yes, the shark. Shark. <laughs> <laughs> the, shark the adjacent shark that's right Mega there. nature Well, shark. if we're jumping the shark, what does riding the shark mean? You failed your nature check without even rolling. Yeah. Are you swimming toward the, uh, to the, the light? light? It's yeah. dark. Okay. I don't have dark. Wait, it's not dark. dark. There's a bright light. And I have dark vision. Is the so. tunnel still collapsing behind us? Can we tell? The tunnel behind you isn't collapsing, but you are seeing some bricks and stones fall Sliding. down the... Oh, I take one of the bricks. Okay. As a souvenir. Put it in my bag. A, a, a poopy souvenir. I try to catch it before oh, it falls. Is your bag open? I mean, it's already been it's through in the it. Sluice way. Well, I'm already in. Everything we're cu- we're wearing and have on is covered in poop right uh-huh. now. So not what? Not true. your clothes. Your clothes are not, gleaming. Yeah, your, your clothes, clothes are, are gleaming. They don't. So they will not have poop on them. Okay. But they are actively pushing the poop towards you. Then how is that where you just step in and there's just like a. A micro layer of yeah, just, pr- well, you know those like pretty much fabrics where you pour water on them and it just beads and rolls off. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, but but I never, everything. I never made a cone and pushed it into <laughs> water. It's magic. I know that. I'm trying to figure out <laughs> how that magic works. <laughs> There's a science to this magic in this world. Oh yeah. How long? So have how? Been yeah. How, you, how long do we you have? You eventually to go on? emerge from this pipe. It's about 100 yards long. Mm-hmm. And you find yourself it's in the bright sun of the late morning. Outside. Outside. We're outside we the sewers. How did we get outside the sewers if we were like 75 levels deep? We kept going down mountain. and down and down. And then we went even further down. It's a mountain. Oh. Also, it was so we're, further, was... Oh. we're further down on the mountain now. Huh? Yeah. Do we know where we are? You're Outside. outside. Yeah. Are there guards in front of us? Because I thought there were guards that... You know, that's a really good question, because yes, you find yourself surrounded by Glendrang and royal guards. Oh, yeah? Do they hold their noses? Uh, they, they're they all wearing their, you know, kind of Sentai helmets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but is that smell proof? <laughs> we actually You're know not... they are, because we have one. Also, that's wearing it. Mm. This whole uh, yeah, time? Yeah, that's true, he is. Yeah, I have been this whole time, You're right. Yeah. So does that, that have a, a does that have like a? Uh, you could have used that the whole time. <laughs> it, all it does is it gives me a, a plus one two. I perception. think it was a proto. No, it gives you AC as well. Yeah, it does that too. I've been using both of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I never got to make a perception check, so I never really got to use it. Although the AC helped, maybe not. <laughs> Not so much in the last battle. No, it actually is, didn't. No. Let's worry about the guards, maybe. Why should the, the we worry about the guards? are watching you go, well, the, you know, the helmet that <laughs> looks a lot like your helmet. That helped a whole lot in there, maybe. I'm not sure. Did that actually come in handy? I'll As drop, I'll drop my up. crocodile for him. And turn into... So are we just on Zoria, top of you, Zoria. then? Mm-hmm. We're just on top of Zoria. No, I just sort of... Do you, I, do you I, I roll try, us off first? I do like the tr- animorphs, and I go whoo, into the head area and stand up. So you charisma. Oh, so we we fell off. Yeah, you <laughs> fell off. So you who are charisma full, <laughs> what? welcome welcome us to the guards. They know who we are. Yeah, How can midnight. they tell? We're all covered with We're poop. midnight brunch. We're the midnight brunch. This we is have... covered in poop. They can, they can... They can tell that? <laughs> yes. Like, you don't turn into a different person when you're no. covered in poop. No, not a different person, but you might become, like, hard to tell who you are. It's like camouflage. Guys, I think we killed a god. <laughs> <laughs> This is it, it, all going on. Are you on telling that to the guards? I'm just guards. saying that to you. 
No. They're just, they can talk to us, too. <laughs> they're just listening to this conversation. You, who are guards. We have an insignia that we got from one of you guys. It's covered in poop! <laughs> this is... That's an excellent start. So you can't hey, arrest us. We, we hey, are we looking... Got, we came out of the poop shoot, <laughs> and now we have I, a helmet and an insignia is, out of context. I don't call it a poop shoot. It's a sloops and slide. <laughs> <laughs> so why would there be poop sliding down the sluice outside? <laughs> because you've gone through the untreated storm drains that are there for when there's a massive overflow of water from heavy rains. <laughs> wow, <You> that, <laughs> <laughs> civil engineering. That was really boring. that was really pretty boring. <laughs> civil engineering is often boring. Yeah. Yeah, we go. Yes, yeah. Yes, civil no offense to you, civil engineers um, out there. None intended. We're we're here on business of the Agmar Nodal. We don't need to cause any trouble. So the one guard who looks to be in charge of this, she opens her helmet up and goes, so I'm, oh, oh oregano, the, oregano. She, <laughs> she you're throwing poop covered oregano at them. No, from my magic pouch. That's covered in poop. It's just the, the outside. outside. <laughs> I don't keep the oregano on the outside of the pouch. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. She can't, Puts the helmet screen back on. I guess you got nose stuff to it after a while. My name is uh, Sergeant Taratha Winthorn. Uh, I'm mine! So I hold my hand out to shake their hand. <laughs> like bits fall well, out. <laughs> they've got like full, you know, Power Ranger kind of armor on, as I've described in the past. So she it doesn't mean they want to clean it. <laughs> oh, there's no escaping the filth at this point. All of the sluices are just sort of pouring out with bricks and residue. She reaches out and takes your hand. Oh, oh I aggressively for, just hold it for uncomfortably yeah. long. And I try, I do the thing at the power. Oh, I also, you know, pull them oh, towards God, me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Assert dominance, you know. I don't do that because that's a stupid thing to do. Yeah, that would be a stupid thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, can the three of you please give me some explanation of <gasps> oh, Owen, Owen, go. Owen, where are you? <laughs> Owen that emerges from the muck. You forgot that they were on the back, so when you transform back, they kind of fell into the muck and they're still trying to get out of it. It's sloppy and mm. you, you know how you get, if you get your shoes stuck in mud, it's like impossible to get it out sometimes and you can just lose your shoe. That's what's going on with like their whole like armor right now. Is Hoenn losing all their armor? Help Hoenn up. I help Hoenn up. Use your rope. Make a strength check. Well, athletics, you have that trident. <laughs> yeah, we need that for this. <laughs> we might. I <laughs> just fail this. Um, yeah. If you fail it, you just fall into the poop with them. Well, guidance helped. It helped a lot, really. Uh, did it double it? Almost 17. <laughs> All right. You managed to get whole one out of the gloop they're in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> eh. Were you eating it? Not voluntarily. Oh. Can we please never do that again? No promises. No. This is in the midnight brunch. <laughs> uh, why did I join up with this? I think that's our our like catchphrase, no promises. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think you, you can get, get this what you job pay done? For. <laughs> no promises with the midnight brunch. <laughs> Wait, isn't that like what you guys are supposed to do? You'd think that was the catchphrase, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, also a legal disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, excuse me, the four of you, uh, can you please explain just who the hell you are and what you were doing in the sewers? I said we're Midnight Brunch! We're yeah. here on behalf of the Agmar Nodal. Here's a wet, crumpled piece of paper that show, tells you all about it. A little, like, cocking action of the wrist and then sprays water over it. <gasps> you think it's not a water spray? Side. I hope not. Huh. Maybe they could spray us with that. Clean some of this off. I we don't have nearly shower. enough for that, no. unfortunately. Your documents do look like you are working on behalf of the Agmar Nodal. Mm. 
Um, what are your names? Sorry, yeah. Oh, well said, Ralph. Mines! Hold on. Well. Um, I believe that I'll have to escort you back to the palace and... Did Muriel make uh, it out? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Muriel. Bullywog, Agmar and O'Donnell. At that moment, a person walks into view, and you realize that the outside world uh, is, well, it's really fuzzy. It seems that there's like an orb around you in this area because you hadn't noticed this person walking up until they were like feet from you. That and was very sneaky. Then you pretty quickly understand who she is. It is Orissa Nordamas, captain of the Akmar Nodal. Hmm. Oh my God. Where's our money? It, <laughs> Priorities. You, <laughs> you emerged. Oh, uh, is that what you call it? <laughs> emerged. Yeah. Is, is Muriel all right? We found her. Um, she was leading the prisoners out with Nular. With Nular? They both of them say at the same time, as in the Empress's son. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah that's I think she it. prefers queen. Her Majesty's preferences are well noted, and also the official order of the Royal Guard is to refer to her as Empress. Huh. Well, yes, uh, the son. I, he was down there also. He, he, he's all right. Well, oh, yeah. we, we got the prisoners with them up to the second level. They were supposed to be getting out. Mm-hmm. The, they were escaping on their own. You didn't go with them. We had to deal with the cult. The cult? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The, you so know, you, the world-ending cult. Yeah, not the murder cult, the other Different one. Different cult. Mm-hmm. Now, Orissa, okay. you dealt with the cult. I mean, we we killed a big, horrible, extra, extra planar thing. Yeah, we really should have it. Whoa, did we grab any Wait. of the papers? No, they were all gone. They disappeared, yeah. Extra planar? No, not extra planar. Extra, extra planar. What, what does that even mean? Uh, outside of our all-known planes of existence. What does the dog have? <laughs> I hear her chewing on something strange as she's... Leave it. Okay. It's, a, it's just one of those ties for cable. Well, she shouldn't have that. Or the cable. That. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, everyone. But a dog got into something. And we're getting it back. Okay. Okay. We're... We're back in character now. I have my foot on top of it. Oh, very good. My foot's on top of the dog. What do you mean extra, extra planar? So, okay. We live in the material plane. Yes, I know that. And there's other planes that exist outside, like the Feywild, the best plane. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, I'm aware. Outside of that, (laughs) there's apparently even more. I guess... No, th- there's nothing more. I mean, I guess it was there before, according to this guy. I mean, this guy's a cultist. You gotta take everything with a grain of salt, right? Yeah, you didn't tell us all this in the sewer. Do you really trust anyone who comes out of a sewer? I wouldn't trust anyone coming out of a sewer. Yeah. Uh huh. No offense to any sewer workers uh, and other civil engineers. I mean, people who come out of a sewer without protective gear, covered in poop, and <laughs> just wearing tics- claiming they <laughs> claiming they saw things from beyond this room. Yeah. Anyway. No offense to those people either. <laughs> Who are from beyond realms. So, basically, they were they claim that there's four gods. At least. At yeah. least four, four gods. Four names. That exist four names. outside of all known existence. And now they want in. Mm-hmm. And the cults are trying to help them. All right. I don't understand. You're saying that there is an entire other Dimension to our world? Is that what you'd call it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. Sure. It's mm-hmm. like the first dimension. And like, I, I, there are other gods that we don't know of? Well, they, we know about him now. They say that our gods block them out after they were made. Ugh. Um. It's really cosmological. So you didn't encounter it? this, you just learned of it, correct? 
Uh, we uh, encountered uh, emissary of one of them. Of Entrope. Entrope, yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not good. But we killed it. Don't uh, worry. Okay. It blew it up. Oh, boy. That's going to cause might. all sorts of issues. Mm-hmm. At this moment, another individual walks into this apparent bubble that you're in. Now, this particular individual is much shorter. They are apparently a halfling and are wearing incredibly fine clothing. And she walks up to the sergeant that you were talking to and says, you there, what are, what are we to be doing here? Right? Is this the source of all the disturbance? I'm waiting for some sort of report. De- Ambassador, please, I will get a report. We've just found these Rosalie. individuals here. Rosalie. <laughs> we have a puppy under Sorry. the table. And she's interested in these cables. She's very interested in some cables. Okay. They are mm-hmm. colorful. So interested that we're going to take just a very short break while we get them out. You won't even notice, because the magic of editing. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, everyone. We'll pick the story up right where we left off. So, am I to understand that the four of you are the cause of all this problem? No. Uh, Not this time. No. We're the solution (laughs) to this problem. Sort of. Yes, we got paid to be the solution. Mm Mm-hmm. You're the solution to this problem? Uh, Yeah, Uh, big monster. We destroyed it. mm -hmm. Down in the sewers. Didn't have anything to do with the collapse, nope. The, we, well, the monster had something to do with the collapse, does, but yeah. we destroyed the monster, saved the city, our heroes. Mm-hmm. Released a bunch of hostages. Sergeant, are you telling me that there was a monster underneath the sewers the entire time that we've been here, and that this monster had all sorts of captives? It wasn't here until the last minute when the cult summoned it. Oh, a cult, yes. So much better to have them not, under the sewers. Not a murder cult, though, as we no. learned. Oh, well, yes, our situation has improved no, greatly. It's not, not like a murder in, cult, Sergeant, to no, hear that. Not like the one in Nordfeld. No, that's a different cult. Ambassador Lerwin, please. I'm learning of the situation just as you are. I don't mm. have any more information to share. This is completely fresh. Yes, I should suspect as much uh, from the Glindrangan Royal Guards. Always on top of things. You haven't even found your missing heir. She's Ooh, being there's very a lot of sarcastic. drama here. Ambassador, and sarcasm. Ambassadors get to talk down to guards. How do you become one? By being of good position in society. What if you have, like, a locket from an ambassador? Does that count? Does it count towards what? Being an ambassador, if it's like a Custerium Blood Ambassador locket. No. Oh, okay. Why would you have anything like that? I don't. <laughs> what do you mean, Blood Ambassador? Like like a locket with Ambassador Blood in it that they wear. She sort of absentmindedly clutches at something on her chest. I don't know what you're talking about, and... I don't have to pay any attention to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. As I wish get Helen to steal that. As I already have one. She didn't we really have. One. As though this uh, ambassador didn't quite fully exist, another person just walks <laughs> right through them, and then you realize that this other person, in fact, is the thing that doesn't really exist. Well, you might not have to pay any attention to them, dear, but you do have to pay attention to me. Hello, darlings. It's nice to meet you all. I've heard so much about you. What have you heard? Mm -hmm. And how is it that you know so much about uh, this incident and these people, Malsame? Why are they saying that? I don't know. She's being very sarcastic. I do not like her. Write down Malsame. I don't have a notebook right now. (laughs) Oh, just ignore her. She's... Okay. She's so fussy. Mm. I am Madam... Malsame. I wish I could be here in person. Unfortunately, I must regrettably send a mere projection of my magnificence. How do you do that? Are you an ambassador too? Mm, not as such. I am the 
Well, hi. Hi, lady, I believe is the title I most prefer. Hi, lady. The high lady <laughs> of the House of Discovery, Mage Premier of Ilsirin, at your service. Oh, what, what, what services do you provide? Well, I am the, perhaps leader is too strong a term, but I'll use it anyway. The leader of Ilsirin. Magic items, do you provide those? Is that a service? Oh, well, I do carry a few about on my person. Oh, well, take Unfortunately, those, Unfortunately, yeah. my personage is not there. Oh. Merely this <laughs> substitute. Now, I see that the four of you have gotten into quite a bit of trouble. Well, we got into food. No, we just got out of trouble, actually. Yes, Dole has told us many things about your adventures. You know Dole? Yes, everyone knows Dole where we're from. Hmm. I didn't know Dole was so popular. He yes, never, he, did. Did. <laughs> he, never, he always was so modest. I mean, other than Slynrin, I don't think he really talked to anyone. Hmm. Every time we talk to him, he seems to be talking to a different person. Or having a tea party. Why don't we check with him? Dole may not yeah, be has the most conversational individual. Hmm on the Isles of Ilsirin, but he is one of the more desirable companions for conversation. Oh, for conversation, okay, yeah. Well, what else? You know, other stuff. Like what? Sex. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> if, well. If a projection was capable of displaying blushing, it would. However, the a very tall orcish woman in front of you well, seems to betray little more than a subtle flutter of her eyes. So, um, we were talking... Okay, so you're... Elsirin's High Lady of Discovery, what was it? High of Lady of the House of Discovery. Muname? Madame Malsame. Malsame. Mm -hmm. Yes. And your ambassador. Demata Liruin. Uh, you have a shorter name I can call you? Demi. No. Demi. Okay, Demi. Sergeant, have you determined what you're going to do with these insufferable <laughs> ingrates? I thought we were people, <laughs> now we are ingrates. I mean, we're full of, I think we have a bunch of world-changing secrets right now. Oh, yes. We should save those for people who appreciate them. Ambassador, them. you're talking to, well, yeah. I was going to say Glendrangan yeah, citizens, but I don't know if any of you are. Mm -hmm. I'm not. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, you're talking to people in Glendrang, much less Drogmara. Please give them a little respect. We're covered in poop. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll give the yeah, fecal-bound people in front of me. That would have been a great name, too. The fecal-bound. Fe fecal yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's what Midnight Brunch is. <laughs> you know they make pills for that. <laughs> so who do we talk to about, like, everything we saw in the sewers? We can never take a shower. Well, you would be talking to me first. The sergeant, the sergeant stands up and salutes. I am Lord Haraldor, at your service. This is getting very crowded by people who are at our service, they're but they're very, not providing us any services. But they are fancy people. They are very uh, fancy. So you're who we're supposed to talk to about Nular and the Angmar Nodal and the monster from outside the existence? Yeah, yeah well, what? Those things. Sergeant, have you gotten any information? No, sir. As soon as I started questioning them, everyone started showing up. And our quiet interrogation scene behind the bubble of impenetrable sight, as you once called it, isn't so impenetrable, is it? Oh, can I stick my head out the bubble? It's a little far away for you to do that. I mean, I, I, I can still walk over there. Is anyone going to stop me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can try anyway. <laughs> the car just shoves you back in. <laughs> Gently, I, but firmly. Mm. Oh. Mm. I am Lord Harold or cucked to be specific. Now, 
I am the Minister of Defense for this country and am here on behalf of my lady, Queen Nula. Mm, oh. Called her queen. Yeah, we found her son. Mm -hmm. I have been made aware Nula came up moments ago in another part of the city. Oh, oh with great. everyone else? I'm not sure about everyone else, but yes, a great many other people well, were taken out of the sewers and they were immediately taken to the palace for recovery and... Coco. <laughs> well, information. Oh. Hmm. They are to be debriefed. Was there a bollywog? Do you think that oh, was Coco? Because they're covered in poop, they have to be debriefed. In a more literal sense, <laughs> yes. I believe there was a bullywog among them, yes. Oh, good. That's, mm -hmm. We need to get you paid see a also, Muriel. Mm -hmm. Temporary moment of relief flash over Orissa's face as she realizes that her friend is indeed safe. Just as things start to look like they're getting in order, a booming voice <laughs> echoes into this chamber. Are you writing all these down? I don't have a notebook. I'm trying to. <laughs> it's coming tomorrow. I am here. Where are the heathens? Here. No, who is this? We're here. Uh, Orissa's face drops. Just like, oh, God. No, 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 no. <laughs> I am Purifier Herthar. A, um, Purifier Herthar? An immense ogre. I mean, ogres typically within people's <laughs> minds are usually a bit uh, flabby, a bit out of shape. They are strong, but ill-toned. Mm. Not this one. Oh, you who are a purifier, are you here to clean us up? Yes. Okay. <laughs> a massive war hammer is held in his right hand. Oh, he no. slams it down on the ground. Oh. <laughs> Does a, go up an ar uh, Yes. An arcane seal extends out from it and encompasses everyone in this circle. I shall now investigate where the impurities are. <laughs> All over us. And then nine his, disappears forever. <laughs> his skin flashes with an intense green brilliance and runes now appear all over his arms, his chest, his face, and his eyes have become black as the darkest night. Do the runes hurt? No. Does it hurt him? Do they look familiar to me at all? Yeah, go ahead and make a knowledge nature check. Not arcana. No. Uh, 25. These runes are something that you recognize from the Feywild, believe it or not. Oh, you do fey magic too? Never. Silence, heathen. But you're covered in fey magic. He thrusts the warhammer, just sort of rocking it <laughs> towards you, and you find yourself unable to speak. You have been touched by... Poop. Something I've never seen. This is not the... W wild fey magics. Although this one does stink slightly of them. <laughs> Captain Nordamus, where have these four been? I don't know. <laughs> they haven't had a chance to say anything <laughs> yet. <laughs> Speak. Uh -uh. Very well, I will judge thee without your input. Oh no, okay, fine. Okay, what? What do you What do you want to know, eh? Are you are you really the one in charge here right now? Are you rank are you outrank all these people? We have a lord, an ambassador, a madam. We have like all I don't even know who he is. He is the one person here who seems to be making any sense. Just do away with them all. I'm fine with it. To, Purifier, you know the Kosterian position on the Agmar Nodals. Mm. Who are you? Midnight Brunch. Why are you? Because 
We got hired. <laughs> Bi- based biology. People ask for us by name. Where are you from? Yeah, fervent, different places. Fervent Wilds, Fervent Wilds, to back Savoy? Yeah, that was Hi. What has touched you? Clothes. Poop. Um, poop. A lot mm-hmm. of poop lately. Mm-hmm. No. Um, uh, extra, extra planar entity. Um, Explain. Uh, my belt. Uh, uh, well, I got this belt in Nordfell. <laughs> the entity. Oh. We tried to do that before. All it right. seemed to be very confusing. We couldn't even really look at it very long. Are you going to keep anyone from interrupting us? Yes. <laughs> Everyone's silenced in here except for you. Okay, cool. This is what it should have been from the start. No, except for us, Midnight Oh. oh. No. Oh. You got it right. Oh. <laughs> it's only you who's talking right now. Oh, okay. So, um, there's a cult that it, there's four cults, but one of them was under no- Drogmara. They want to bring what's outside the known planes in that the gods locked out, and they brought one of them in. We killed it. It's covered in runes that look like this. Um. <laughs> Doesn't even react. I have a whole bunch of plates covered in that same stuff. Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. I think I took like a hundred of these. I just got them coming out of all my pockets. Um, you just drop they shatter on the ground. <laughs> no, I'm not this one. Right this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they want their god, of which there's four, that exists outside our known universe to come in and take things over in their purity. Yes, I can't speak. Mm. You can nod Mm -hmm. emphatically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are not of the Fae, then. I mean... Orisa is just kind of like off to the side, like... I'm not... (laughs) Uh, Faye. The purifier looks back and she's like, (laughs) (laughs) I am a changeling, though. As you can see from me being a changeling. Captain, keep their position monitored. I may return. He releases the silence on everyone. Why'd you do that? Yes, we can finally talk again! Oh, God. Oh. No, no! I have opinions! <laughs> <laughs> he then walks away. I'm hungry. Oh, feed me. Sorry. Someone Would anyone my care so to explain eat. to me what in God's name's uh, that all about? Uh, that's a purifier. How did he Arisa? silence a projection of an archmage? Maybe they're just polite. I just don't like to upset the Agmar Nodal. They get so fussy. That was a purifier, minister. You've probably never encountered one. They're meant to deal with fey wild incursions. So we should have killed? Fine. Now, if there aren't any more interruptions, I would like to get on with, at that moment, (laughs) a portal appears inside. And... Inside the bubble. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a, you know, fairly average-sized dwarf steps out of it. She is regaled in incredibly fine clothes and wears a modest crown on her head. Well, I hear it's you four that I have to thank for this. Finally, we get some acknowledgement that is positive. Yeah, yes. you're welcome. Mm. For Ladies. both the return of my son and the mess in my toilets. Oh. I mean, that was nice, that one. I do not apologize. But where are your toilets? My toilets, meaning the entire city's toilets. Oh, she works for the plumbing company. 
I am Queen Nula. We could tell by the crown. <laughs> what happened to your toilets? <laughs> we happened to the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> So are you now the ranking person here? I'm getting really confused with all these titles. <laughs> I believe I am the ranking person here, yes. I'm fairly certain that the esteemed ambassador of Quisteria would no doubt agree that being that this is the country of Glindring and not of Quisteria, I stand slightly higher than her in commanding this position. And I know my minister would certainly agree. The High Lady, however, is not necessarily where she should be, as she knows our policies here in the Glendrangan mm -hmm. capital. Oh, you're such a spoil sport. I'll have to catch up with you all later. Okay. Say hi to Dol for us. Ta. Tell him we're okay. She disappears. Captain Orissa, would you care to introduce me to these four that you've hired? I think I'd best let them introduce themselves at this point. Very well, and you are? I'm sorry, I'm still a changeling druid. She reaches out to shake your hand. I'm all poopy. Okay. She doesn't seem to care. I am also a smell for a bog fighter. <laughs> She shakes your hand We're as well. We're good at this introduction. Mm -hmm. yeah. We do it so many times. I'm Ace. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nines. Tabaxi Bard. She shakes your hand. I do that uh, slap. Slap. Slap back. Pound it. Explosion. Uh, she follows without pause. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> She does something that's cool. Yeah. And, and I'm Holwyn. <laughs> Holwyn's like, yeah, that's my job. Uh, oh, I turned into you for a second. I'm Holwyn. Which one's the real one? I don't know anymore. <laughs> it's wonderful to meet you all. It's also very nice to finally have met Nines, a musician with which I have become familiar. How could that be? Hmm. <laughs> 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 Several of my courtiers speak highly of you. Mm. As they should. I'm very good. They must have been on the ferry. Mm. Yeah. They said that you were very entertaining mm. at a certain birthday party. Oh, the birthday party. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Glenvies? Mm. Can we do more? No, we did more than one. We've done multiple. Yeah, we have done. I have performed at multiple birthday oh, parties. Oh, no, well, this was the Lord's <laughs> birthday party here in town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm very famous. I've done several birthday several parties. Birthday I, I've parties. done two birthdays and a boat trip. <laughs> Only one of them ended up in blowing up a whole city. <laughs> Most of the city, not all of it. Only we also, two of them exploded. You also performed at the Blackwell Bar in Nordfell. Yes, you got yeah, my most famous appearance. Mm -hmm. My live at Leeds. Uh, <laughs> I've done an open mic night, performed on a boat, and two True. birthday parties. <laughs> Only half of my performances exploded. <laughs> yep. I don't think he technically performed at Glenvie's birthday, but that's okay. Not performed in the traditional sense. It was a, it was a gorilla performance. <laughs> well, you did play the very agitated city officer who was there to inspect the uh, for a generator that uh -huh. they had there, and you did that quite well. Yes. So this approved. You had to make performance checks. You performed. Mm -hmm. There you yeah. go. There. And my and everyone says that was one of my best performances. And it was at a birthday party. Yeah. So. So yeah. there. Well, I hope we find another birthday party. They've been going great for me. Not for the so, birthday e, uh, but. Uh, uh, Empress, are you having a birthday soon? <laughs> or queen? You may refer to me simply as Nula. I don't stand mm. much on titles. Oh, mm. did All your son get to you already? I have not yet had a chance to see my son, as he insisted that before we see one another, he take a long and very deep shower. Mm. Mm. It'll be hard with all the plumbing exploding. Fortunately, the supply has not been tainted or disrupted. 
just the outflow. <laughs> For now, we can run it through untreated, and Ooh. I've stationed a large number of our Agmar Nodal to be outside cleansing the water as it comes out of the city. Oh, I thought that was going to be like them showering the people with their magic. That'd be a weird job. It's not a <laughs> long-term solution, but it will have to do for now. Mm. So, I am to invite you back to the palace. She holds her hands over the portal. It changes to a different scene than what had been there. That will take you immediately to a bathroom. Oh, I push everyone out of the way and again the first. <laughs> I've been holding it in for a while. <laughs> You, did, you should have used it at the break room. <laughs> or when I was just wading through it. Like, yeah, I mean, no, yeah. one, no one's going to notice that there's more in there. I took way. multiple bathroom breaks in that dungeon. <laughs> you did. Always yeah. go when you have a chance. Yeah. Yeah, that that's what... Uh, it's like the saying of the Fervent Wilds. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and you always have a chance in, in the wilds. <laughs> So the, the That's basically why they never just, get anything done. <laughs> he, he just choose the bathroom. <laughs> so, so nine's is gone. Yeah, I'm gone now. Well, I'm I just... better go after him. Are you coming? I... I should be returning through a different portal. Oh, you don't want to come to the bathroom with us? We can gossip. <laughs> I'll have to gossip with you later. Okay. As much as I enjoy the practice, I have other matters to attend to. There's quite a rogues gallery here that I must attend to. Thank you for your service. They're all rogues. I shall, or rather you shall, be joining me later this evening. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go clean up. Yeah, I would like to be clean. So. As the remaining three of you walk through the portal, it closes the moment that Holwyn crosses the threshold. Yes, we're not going back. I hope this wasn't a trap. If this is a trap, we just fell and walked right, right into it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we really did. Crap, I hope it's not a trap either. <laughs> is it a trap? Are we in a bathroom? Yeah, you're in, like, a really resplendent bathroom. Oh. oh. Yeah, is there, like, a dry cleaner service or something for our clothes? Um, I'm sure you could find one, but it doesn't have, like, one of those call this number for dry cleaning service. Do they have an attendant? Um... Not immediately visible, but... Is there a bell? Is there, <laughs> like, a basket for clothes? Yeah, there is. There's mm -hmm. a basket for clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll turn into nine so I'm not embarrassed and then throw all my clothes in the basket. That's the best compliment <laughs> I've ever received. <laughs> <laughs> if, if this were one of our improvs, that's where I'd say C. <laughs> So is our is our armor and stuff going to be cleaned? Allegedly. Oh, you sure hope so at this point. I sure hope so because otherwise those are expensive uh, clothes. Yeah. Well, the clothes don't need to be cleaned. They're gleaming. Mm -hmm. Those pff, goes right off. My but clothes aren't gleaming. Your clothes are not gleaming. Okay. Well, your armor isn't gleaming. No, I clean up as much as I can, and I hope that. Uh, my clothes and armor are clean. The bathrooms that you were transported into are um, quite plentiful. There's a private room for each of you in there with its own shower. Does it have my name on it? Weirdly, yes. Oh, yeah. wow. I go into Olsef's one. <laughs> <laughs> Not when he's in there. I go no, into Olsef's so one. Oh, hey. I'm already in here. Jeez. <laughs> Can't you read? <laughs> it's legible. <laughs> I go into Soria's one, shake a shower. Okay. Do we you need a for that? No. I do anyway. <laughs> you clean up Good. and... Cat that's butt. that's where I get the happy cat face. You got a 20. 20 shower. <laughs> That was a pretty You got nice the happy color. cat face because after cleaning up, you are a happy cat. Is there like a sparkle around me because of how well I cleaned up? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get... Yeah, yeah, there's glitter. Roll a d4. Oh, 
I got a four. For the next four days, there's a very subtle glitter around you because of just how good of a job you did cleaning up. Giving him a bonus to charisma checks. Yes, I get advantage on all charisma checks now. <laughs> no? You know what? You get plus one to your charisma checks for the next four days. Okay. I will you rolled a happy cat face. And a shower check. And now that you've cleaned up, you all get an achievement point notification Ooh. that says survive the sewers and battle the cult. How many, How many points? points? 40 achievement points. <gasps> 40? Yeah, Whoa. it's a big one. Like, what about for one. exploring the whole map? I have so many points now, they mean nothing. Oh, that's part of it. Oh. Like, yeah. So you had achievement points for the first two levels, and then this one was like, you didn't get it until you did all that. You're writing down the name of the achievement. Explore all the levels. <laughs> and survive the cult. Mm -hmm. It's um, called, the, the name of the achievement is A Cult Below. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a very thematic I, Instead title. of a cut above, a cult below. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a very subtle play on words. Yeah. We've been doing this long enough now where I think I'm going to institute a little random achievement point thing. And you guys won't know what they are. I'll just come up with some achievement points. And if you do them, I'll put them up on screen. Ooh. Can in we post. write theme achievement points? Can it no. be for can hats? It, just like in real <laughs> life. For hats? <laughs> can it sure. be like a little, a little glowy icon <laughs> of our heads? The number of points and it just sort of dances there. You know, I can institute no, a little... No, that would take you, like, months to do. Don't. Just have a little fairy, <laughs> like, go around the numbers. I, like I can institute fairy. a little glowing number that appears in the bottom, along with your character information. That's not hard to mm -hmm. do. Why not have fun with it? Because uh, everything what? should be a video game, apparently. What sort of hat can Soria get for 50 achievement points? For 50 achievement points? Oh, nothing. Oh. Yeah, you gotta get a lot more achievement points. Mm, I guess we better start achieving. You gotta get like a hundred yeah. achievement points before you can get a hat. And that's, that's a like, bad hat. It's like you know, one of those top hats that has like the top broken off, so it sticks on. No, I mean, it's still the internet, so it's cat ears. Oh. No. You do, can get cat ears. Do they at least glow and like change color? Sorry, is always um, wanted cat ears. Yeah, sure, they, they glow and change colors. And they look nothing like real cat ears. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, all right. Are our clothes cleaned and, and when we get out. dried and everything, or do we have to like sit around in towels on wooden benches waiting? Well, we can go to the sauna, which is what I do. Oh. Just, your clothes are clean. Oh. You have a little ticket that says your armor is being serviced. Oh, so I have to wait for my armor. Yes. Or well, the odds of us getting attacked by a cult again. Your armor is also being serviced. I guess I'll put on my fancy party wear because my my suit was actually glamoured armor, which I'm assuming is also being serviced. It is being serviced. Mm -hmm. What's not being serviced? Uh, your clothes. I'll put on my glamoured party dress. Or not glamoured, gleaming party dress. A whole one will do the same because their armor is also out being mm -hmm. serviced. Yeah. Do we know, you know where to pick it up? Is, does it have like a Room number or something. It'll be brought to your room. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get a room. You're in it. We're in the bathroom. That adjoins your larger room. Oh, oh, do describe what we have. You appear to have been given for the time a room in the palace to stay in. Yep, one room for all of us, or do we each get our own? There is a large common room, mm -hmm. and then a. Four bunk beds. <laughs> And then a smaller but still sizable bedroom for each of you. Hmm. You'll be glad yeah, to know that while you were showering, Artemor was brought up, as was Seven's tent. Aw, Seven's. How are you? You mean Tens? No, it's Seven's. It's Tens. Seven's. Seven's Tens has a big plate of well, it looks like, you know, meat scraps. 
Ah, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, Does Artemore oh. have clams? Yes, Artemore has a tray of clams that he's been smashing up. It is good to have you back and be clean. How many um, royal pillows, towels, and soaps can I fit in my bag? <laughs> We have so much money, and we just rob the pettiest things. Do you own a jaguar that I'm unaware of? Is that a nice machine I can steal? No. I, I shall have two pillows and two towels in my bag. Did we have to get the room like next to the ice royal machine? Royal monograms or something? They, they do have royal monograms, of yes. Of course. So it's not subtle. It's from my tent. <laughs> You can put a, you can like, you have enough room to set up your tent in the common room. I'm not doing that, I have a bed. <laughs> well, that you could put these in and then uh -huh. roll your tent back up. Okay, I'll do that. There you go. I'll slide them in around the gigantic stone fist that's in the middle of my tent. That's what you do. Wait, or was it metal? The golem fist that we shoved into the tent. <laughs> it was metal. Metal tent, all right. We should scrap that. Why? It's cool. It's yeah. an art piece. It is cool. Should I put it in here so we can look at it? Oh, we can put it in our new manor. This is our property now. <laughs> <laughs> we live here. You get to keep this room, right? This, we live here now. I decided <laughs> this. <laughs> is there, are there like, is there like mints or anything? Yeah. There's like trays of food out. Oh, uh, Whole Foods thing. Like all the food? How, oh, what sorry. kind of food? Kind Go into more detail. Is it good food? We need, we need, <laughs> I knew you had a like, trigger word. Is there corn? Is there like a whole just all roast? Just corn, nothing but corn. Pretzels? <laughs> corn on the cob, popcorn. I, I love cream the of idea corn. of just a tray of <laughs> uncooked corn on the cob. It's like trays of it. <laughs> are, there, are there fritters and pretzels? All corn. There, there are fritters and there are pretzels. Made from corn, all of it's corn. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's. I'm just imagining just a pretzel just with like corn kernels just embedded into it for yeah. reasons. Stop <laughs> really, it just sounds really unappealing. Awful. It's cornbread pretzels. No. I don't think you could make cornbread pretzels. I don't think the shape would all. Magic, pretzel shaped cornbread, but then it would just be cornbread. <laughs> it's, just, it's just cornbread in a weird shape. Yeah. Anyway, I'm searching corn pretzel and it's just like, you mean candy corn, right? Please tell me you're talking about candy corn. I'd rather you talk about candy corn. So I I have uh, a, a meal of whatever. Yeah, corn. There's, there's there. basically just about anything you could imagine up there. Mm. You have a, as wide of a spread of food as there is at any of the company houses you've stayed at. This is a very good buffet. <laughs> Where's the bacon tube? Oh, they don't have tube-based huh. food supply here. Huh. You'd think huh. a fancy place like this would have tubes. <laughs> so I have... Uh, they need to invest in I have the best-looking pretzel I can find. They Just have, the one? Mm -hmm. They have very good pretzels. Um, make a... Make a... Perception pretzel. check. You were just complaining. You never get to use your perception, yeah. so now now you do. Uh, 16. So, this, uh, this pretzel feels a little familiar to you. Hmm. Like, you, you've had this one before. The same pretzel? Yeah. Yes. The sewers are backed up. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they saved a bundle of catering this event. <laughs> You, you've had a pretzel just like this before. You think it's from Nordfeld. Hmm. Well, you can teleport, so. You're yes. pretty sure that this is a Nordfeldian a pretzel. Nordfeldian As you pretzel. bite into it, a crackly voice goes, Have a pretzel day, 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 In the back What of a your horrible head. thing to enchant into food. <laughs> <laughs> so later on, I'll find out if I had a pretzel day or not. Yeah, you will. Later tonight, you'll mm -hmm. find out. Is there anything else that people would like to try to eat? Uh, Other than pretzels and corn? Uh, <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> All right, you eat pretzels and corn. Yeah. There's all what sorts of corn. of corn. Oh, whatever. 
like creamed corn, creamed corn, 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 on, the corn on the cob, corn bread, street corn, street corn, a yeah, lote. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those corn, just all, that's plain, all the corn, plain corn tortillas. Maybe some gasoline made of corn. Yeah, uh, guess it all. Yeah. No, I'll just be eating Especially a pretzel the as I, as I roll. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll have a pretzel in my mouth as I roll up the plushest carpet. The <laughs> plushest rug to put in my bag. <laughs> okay. Are you keeping you an that. inventory? Wow, yeah. We've, we've stolen two rugs in this adventure so far. Yeah. Wait, is my cult rug still in the bag? Oh, have you checked your bag? Actually, it was in my bag because yeah, your, your bag, bag was not open. Is my bag normal? As yeah, normal ba- as my bag is. Your, 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 yeah, your slightly different bag is back in order. Okay, I put a piece of, I put a husk of corn. Um, in, in just a husk. Just just has to. I pull the husk out. Okay, you you come back with just the cob. <laughs> Throw that in the room somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and go back to my roast. All right, you do that. You know, um, I I feel like we have been extremely lucky to get out of there alive. I thought it was we were just running fast. Well, not just the like end of that combat. I'm pretty sure that several of you almost died several times. Yeah, I'm still almost dead. Technically. As they're saying that, I just start choking on a piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry. I, was, I wasn't paying it. I wasn't chewing properly. <laughs> no. yeah, just like my cats. <laughs> I'm, uh, I am going to take a nap. I'm really exhausted and we stayed up all night. Are you suggesting like a long rest? Um... Uh, yeah, maybe take a, a long A nice solid seven rest. and a half hours. If we take a rest now, we may wish. We might miss dinner. That's a good point. Uh, well, they look at the time. Is a clock on the wall? Is it a nice uh, clock? Pretty nice. I use Mage Hand to take the clock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, you do that. All right, I, now that I got a better look at it, um, can I fasten into a uh, wristwatch? <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> I mean, in theory, yes. D- does nines know how to do that? De- no. Definitely not. And duct tape doesn't exist in this world, so you can't resort to that. Fine. I, we check the time, and then I put it into Zoria's bag. It's around 11. Oh. So. Oh, we could get eight we hours. We could get a late time. lunch. I like dinner. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Hmm. So we keep watching in case bugbears attack or I don't think we're at risk of bugbears attacking. We're in the palace. Okay, hobgoblins. Okay. No. But I will go to my ensuite room. Yeah, so we were retired to the uh, bunk bed queen size beds. <laughs> That's a little comp- that will we each have our own. Them. We have our own rooms. I like the idea of the queen size bunk beds. <laughs> you can have a queen size bunk bed in your room. I, Which I found out is a thing you can buy, by the way. That terrifies me. <laughs> yeah, I would not want to be underneath. I, I would not want to be the lower one on that. I wouldn't trust that. I, I don't want to be the upper one on that. Just, just none of it. Out. Just either you get murdered or you're an accomplice to murder. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, so on that note, you'll retire to your queen size bunk beds and uh-huh. we will pick this up after they take a long rest and after we take a long break. Hmm. Not really long. It's going to be the same length as usual. See you in a minute, guys.
Welcome back, everyone. We returned from a long rest, and our party now recovered. And through the magic of long rest, uh, fully restored in their hit points and such. Magic long rest. It's now mid evening, mm-hmm. say around 7 30, when you all come out of your rooms. At the same time, like we all just oh. open the door <laughs> yeah. and just yes. made it a countdown. Mm-hmm. All, all, all four of us all at once. I need help in my room. What is it that you need, you who are Zoria? I need your muscles. All you of them? Of those. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Most, I will come to mostly you. Mostly arms and legs. What is it that you need? I have my tent set up in my room. Can you shove the bed into the tent? <laughs> the double, the, the bunk bed queen? I can try. All right. Guidance. I did my part. <laughs> um, I, I like how he rolls. 19. And, and you give him guidance without me even asking you to make a check. Nine, yeah. 19 yeah. bed pushing points. It, it's a bit of a pain in the butt to do it, but yeah, you managed to shove the, you know, the queen, queen bunk, bunk bed. beds into the tent. How much noise does that make? <laughs> a lot. Like, is it, what grade of bunk bed material is this? What do, what do you mean, what grade of bunk bed material? <laughs> like, is it wood? On a it scale metal? of one to five, with one being I mean, not good and five being really good. Oh, uh, six. This Ooh. is like the best bunk bed. <laughs> it's, and it, you know, it's in the palace and would have been very expensive. Mm-hmm. So it's a, uh, it's very heavy, you know. Mm-hmm. It's made of. I know that. It, yeah, you know. You're that. <laughs> it's made of, uh, you know, Material. A very dense wood that unco- it's heavy and it's nice and now it's in your tent. Wait, is it uncomfortable too? It seems to like you're gonna it? say, okay. And just, to push is it? There, is there any fervent stuff laying around since this is like uh, the heart of the um, empire? Is there like a fervent lighter? Or a like, fervent lighter? <laughs> yeah, like a little, you know. Like a butane Dude. torch kind but of fervent. Like, but fervent? It's a nuclear power. <laughs> so it's analog. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there? Well, I just irradiated it. It's not a fire. A but... fervent flashlight. A fur. I'll check all the cupboards. You know what? I'll give you a fervent flashlight. It's pretty good. Just... Here, you're, you like fervent stuff. Yeah, so thank you. <laughs> I will put it I in. found it in you the sewer. In... Uh, now, the uh-huh. problem is it uses four... F cell batteries yeah. because it's yeah, fervent it's cells. F so crystals. Yeah, it okay. uses four F crystals. But they last. Their half life is ten million years. So we'll just go to the local Fervio Shack. Fervio <laughs> Shack. <laughs> okay. Hey, a flashlight's pretty cool. <laughs> Whatever that is. You can put, shine it through your lantern of revealing. Mm-hmm. I like you don't know what a flashlight is, but you have a... I was just looking like, through the cupboards for stuff. <laughs> I'm honest. Well, you don't know what a flashlight is, but you have these goggles that are night vision. Yeah, I do have like, magic. That's magic. Like, though. this is magic. This, this is sorcery. Oh. Yeah. I've yeah. seen Chronicles of Narnia. So before I head out, I'm going to do some... What? I haven't use done it to fight lions. Fervent tech um, training. Oh, yeah. Because I'm trying to become... Way beyond proficient. Yeah, we gotta study that flashlight. 34. Also, if so, he's a flashlight, temporary blind. I would himself. like to practice my ancient language. Oh, my yeah. ancient change language. Sure. 42. It's been a oh, fair wow. number of episodes since you guys have had a chance to do that. Well, so. Since we weren't in mortal danger. All right, so I bust out my sh- uh, portable shuffleboard kit. I practice that. Is this a new skill? I actually, you guys told me I couldn't do that, right? <laughs> Did you? I, <laughs> Don't try, do I can't remember my full list because it's like well, two you pages work on long. The zither. So currently, zither. You have the, <laughs> remember the zither. The, the, z- the zither got completed. He completed oh, the zither. I, I cannot be any better with that instrument. <laughs> I got the right You're one hundred percent good. Yep. Um, he's proficient, but he's not an expert in it. Oh my. All right, 
I'm just saying. What else were you practicing? A concertina. Concertina. Cards. Mm. The finger piano. The oh, nines yeah. a phone, which you can't currently work on. Yes. We got that finger piano from the on Risto. Yeah. The slide whistle and the Hold ocarina on. are your current <laughs> fo- <laughs> focuses. <laughs> There's not just a stray you, harp that's you in this borrow, room, is there? Do you want to borrow my musical spoon? It's a palace, so yeah, there's a harp in there, there a full-size harp. There is a full-size harp just in the corner of my room, yes. and me, they claim to know who I am. Do you need me to set up the tent? <laughs> I can just throw this in my bag. Oh, okay. It's not going to fit in your bag. And then I'll throw it in the tent. <laughs> so, well, I have to try it out first. <laughs> I'll be staking this thing up in the so marble floor. So everyone's again. trying to sleep, <laughs> I just start playing a harp <laughs> ding, ding. for the first time in my life. How well do you do? <laughs> why, why did I allow a harp to be? It's, why does it matter to me? Actually, come to think of it, I got a twenty-two on harping. Twenty-two. Mm-hmm. Also, can you show this a very harp good in the town? No. Nine, D and D joke for everyone. Yeah, I move my harp into, into the, tent. the tent and I forget about it forever, and <laughs> Just... it forgets about me. <laughs> I'm gonna make the harp sentient, and it's gonna like it is. make it's gonna you be feel one of bad. Those, it's gonna be one of those talking golden harps, like in the old yeah. And myth. you're gonna be like, I mean, you. You never play me anymore. Why not? I only play It's going to get really creepy. Let's move yeah. on. <laughs> uh, and then Holwyn stays in their room for a while. And What? Holwyn's... I thought we all came out at once. Yeah, and they went back in. Huh? When they saw that you guys were all working on skills, apparently, at the end of your long rest. <laughs> I, I thought it was deering. And Holwyn works on a skill. Oh, what skill are you working on in there, Holwyn? Shut up, it's private! <laughs> I opened the door. It's locked. I, lo- I picked the lock. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they don't have time to... Uh, uh, oh, I can't guidance myself, can I? No, because you already did it. Um, dexterity, proficient, 19. You unlock the door. I don't open it, though, because Sorry. I respect Holwyn's privacy. I just want you to know I could get in there, <laughs> but I respect your privacy. And that's weirdly creepy. I don't think it's weirdly creepy. You're I think better it's just, creepy. just creepy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So, there is a note that's left for you on the door, and it says, Midnight Brunch on it. I wonder who these guys are. And I crumple the paper up and throw it away. Where the midnight? <laughs> yeah, it's, they didn't throw the, the in there. <laughs> so I patiently okay. wait for a new note. <laughs> Just staring at the door. <laughs> Bring my new note. It says wrong name on it. <laughs> You're clearly not talking about us. And I go, I assume there's breakfast. It's night. Oh, it's, it's dinner it's, time. It's midnight ish. It's like, like 3742. <laughs> I go pick up the crumpled note. <laughs> I pull the clock out for I'm a second and it. see what time it is. The fancy <laughs> clock. It's like 7.30. It's 7.39 oh, p.m. Is this, is You're this holding like a, it upside down. Is this like an envelope with a note inside or is there? Yes, it's an envelope with a note inside. I open the envelope and read the note. What you do I see? Read? Does it say the midnight <laughs> brunch on the inside? You guys are really brunch. <laughs> <laughs> The we're we're says, getting over a traumatic <laughs> incident. Yeah, this is how you process that. Yeah. Apparently. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> the what note does... says, "Dinner, oh, that's 8 p.m. Good. 8 p.m. sharp." Oh. Glad I dress. I slept in my fancy dress. <laughs> it also says an escort will lead you to the dining hall. Mm-hmm. Well, well we, we wait for the escort. We just, we just stare at the wall for 25 yeah. minutes. No, it's uh, not that like long cards. anymore. Go fish! Eventually, oh, Seth, you're a, the fisher. <clears throat> eventually, there's a knock at the door. Assuming that you all don't have anything you want to talk about, discuss with each other. Okay, what's our cover story? <laughs> <laughs> Is this another heist? I mean, <laughs> we all I kind of stole been a lot already. I go, I go answer the door. You who are at the door. Yes. 
Come in. <laughs> Are you ready to leave for dinner? Oh, yes. Yes, we're mm. hungry. Uh, very good. May I enter? Y- yeah? Yes. Is Holwyn out yet? Yes, Holwyn's out. Okay. This what are we working in- on? This individual enters the room and looks at the three of you. Holwyn comes out of the room. Are you all hungry? Yeah. Well, yeah. Or midnight brunch. The midnight the brunch. brunch. Uh, very good. Are any of you vegetarian? What's that? I'm very good. <laughs> the, <laughs> please follow me to the dining hall. And he escorts you out of the room. And I follow and at a respectful distance. Leads you through a series of, you know, quite twisting paths. Is one of us keeping a map? Oh, yeah. Draw a map. Well, Seth draws a map <laughs> crudely on something. His hand, his perhaps. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. Him. I have gleaming clothes on. It <laughs> no, it's not going to work. The map just it? drips off. <laughs> <laughs> There's just ink like flowing <laughs> onto the floor. Yeah. yeah, it marks a trail on the floor. <laughs> so we know how to get with, back now. <laughs> it goes nicely with the trail of gum. <laughs> I'm not wearing my gum shoes. You're not wearing your gum, your gum socks. socks? No. Huh. Okay. So we, we twist and turn through the halls. And you're led to a small dining hall. Ooh, it is a small a, dining hall. Small with meal. With a long table, a little longer than the one that we're sitting at here. Mm-hmm. And it's not very long. But I think that means we could steal it if we try hard enough. <laughs> we could break it into pieces. <laughs> you're gonna take. You're gonna take like the spoons. Are you gonna steal the spoons? I nice stole a lot of nice spoons from that we stole from the voice. And yes. So continue to describe this, please. The table is adorned with more cutlery than you know what to do with. Mm, that's embarrassing. There are just to use them all at once. Salads, mm-hmm. ready and waiting at the table. And like individually, dis- individually plated salads. Yes. Ooh, this is fancy. We're, we're only really used to eating in buffet form. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys are actually. <laughs> <laughs> and several extremely full bouquets of flower that make a centerpiece along the table. Was this flower made by a wheat wizard? Yes. Yes, the wheat wizard also. As a side hustle, <laughs> growing flowers. Oh, yeah, was cool. there a sign or a little card that says who did it? Yeah, why not? There's this little card that says, you know, Wheat Wizard Floral Services. Who who is the uh, lead Wheat Wizard? Oh, head, it, it head just Wheat was Head it, Wheat Wizard. That's the the brand Wheat Wizard. Just it's like Wheat Wizard with a TM. It, yeah, and like a little C inside the circle. I don't mm-hmm. think. All of, I'll eat all of the intellectual property things. Yeah. I How mean, is the salad, by the way? Oh, the salad is light and refreshing mm-hmm. and has a wonderful lemon vinaigrette. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Using all the cutlery. Yeah. <laughs> One in each, like, like Wolverine, you know? <laughs> Just. <laughs> Just scooping it up. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they eat like this. It's hard. <laughs> it's like when you know, you're, it's the fall, the leaves are down, you get two big leaf rakes, you kind of like use them like a giant pair of tongs in your arms and you're lifting the leaves up. It's like that, but as a salad and your hands and you're imagining yourself as Wolverine. Like, <laughs> and you make the sound so, effects with your mouth too. Who's, yeah. who's at the table with us? Is it just the four of us? Uh, yes, it's just the four of you. Oh. What happened to the other guy? They followed. He left. He left. Yeah. Aren't you eating with him? What's your tragic backstory? <laughs> Could you send some clams up to Ardamor? A head pops back in. I shall arrange for Sir Ardamor to have as many clams as he wishes. Thank you. I set sevens on the Close table the door, so he can chew on the flowers. Would you like me to bring a plate of meat for your companion. Oh. Yes, I would love that. Thank you. <laughs> also some for sevens. Of course. So within 
<laughs> moment or two. A large buffet tray of meat has been prepared. Buffet, for I understand this. <laughs> 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 if I grab the biggest piece of meat, because that's obviously the best one. <laughs> it's like it's scrap meat. It's like cuttings. It's it's. I said, so I, on, I'm used to that. You and Sevens can fight over. Mm-hmm. And we fight. I roll for initiative. <laughs> you I got her. a nat 20. Why do I waste it on this crap? <laughs> well, Sevens got a 10. Mm-hmm. So you, I told you. <laughs> you get the biggest meat chunk of yes. scraps. Sevens goes... Is, that, is Tens a cat now? No, Where do you think he's been man. learning it from? Yeah. It just gives you a big I'm gla- a bad influence. Seven just gives you big glassy eyes. So sad. And then tries I just to eat stare directly face. into them as I eat the scraps of me. <laughs> and then they bite your hand and start eating. <laughs> hey, I get the first move in initiative. Fair. After maybe 10 minutes. The doors in the far end of the hall open. Doors you did not enter through. And Queen Nula enters. I'm terribly sorry for making you all wait. (laughs) I am, however, glad to see that you did not abide my lateness and continued with your meal. I appreciate that. I would hate to see you go hungry on my account. Unfortunately, when Someone dealing who gets it. with other states, one occasionally must give up their own freedom to address the desires of others. We know how that goes. Are you talking about the Custerian ambassador? Among many other such good relations. What's the deal with their blood amulets? They are quite secretive about those, but as far as I've come to understand it, it's a way of ensuring they can be found. Oh. Mm. So they can track them? Yes. It's sort of a in case of emergency. <laughs> mm. Gotcha. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Is there any particular reason you're asking? No. (laughs) Very well. I wanted to have a private dinner, at least as private Mm. as my dinners ever are, Mm. uh, with the four of you as a way of saying thank you for rescuing my son and doing, uh, well, perhaps a service to the city Maybe a bit of an overstatement given the current state of our sewer systems. Mm. However, you certainly put your lives at risk to rid us of a foe. Would you classify them as a foe of the city? Definitely not. I'd say a foe of everything you know and love. Like Like all of the universe. Yes. The known universe that we know. There's an uncomfortable number of those things that rising up on a daily basis. Hmm. When you have the position such as mine and the eyes and ears to tell you of goings-ons all over the world, you find that the number of dangers faced by us all are far worse than we could ever imagine. That doesn't put me at ease. Hmm. Nor does it myself, Hmm. knowing that there is one fewer of them. Hmm. puts me a bit at ease. Well, Knowing we, that my son is safe puts me more at ease. I do not think we didn't destroy the entire god Antro, but we did um, stop the cult activity in your sewers. Probably. By destroying the sewers. There's no more sewer to Yeah. Yeah, there are there are three more, I think, that we have heard of. Cults. Hmm. Not sewers. You only have one sewer. No, they don't. <laughs> they have no sewers now. We are working with the Agmar Nodal and their purifiers, mm. a service with which we have fortunately not have much reason to be acquainted with in more than two centuries. That is good. The purifier we met was not very nice. They are perhaps best described as intense. Mm. 
I could think of better descriptions. I don't have anything in my tongue. <laughs> they will be monitoring all of our civil servants from here on out. All of the entrances to critical city infrastructure, such as the sewers, will have detectors that will look for this new type of energy that we have, until such point, been unfamiliar with. What sort of energy is it? As best as I can understand, and I'm, well, not the most learned when it comes to energy types and the grand scheme of the universe, but it seems to be something more powerful. Pure was the language that they used to describe it, and basic. Incredibly potent and destructive. But not in the crumbling of everything, nature. More of the completely replacing what you know. It's like a It's like a fungus that replaces what it devours. No, we fought one of those before. We fought several of those before. So please, tell me a bit about yourselves. Go ahead, Nines. What do I have to go for? You first? love to talk about yourself. <laughs> yeah. Or are you the grand finale? Oh. Yeah, that's true. I am the best, so you should save me for last. All right. Let's start with Artemore. Artemore is up in the room. Oh, I thought Artemore was with us. Okay. Yeah. Artemore is up in the room. Oh, okay. I misunderstood. He's having a private buffet of clams. Mm-hmm. And maybe other seafood. It might be very diet. No, just clams. Just. Just, just cl- clams. Okay. Different kinds of clams? Oh, probably. Okay. I don't know what the um, types there are. But all right. Definitely. Do you want to start? No, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you have your character sheet up, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My name is Soria. You probably knew that. I have eight strength. <laughs> I have eight strength. That's a minus one bonus. I have 12 <laughs> dexterity. That's a plus one. <laughs> no. I, I know since not everyone's good at math, so I'll go slower. <laughs> um, my name is Soria. You probably knew that. Yes. Lovely to meet you. I think you've been hosting my family. Yes, I've learned a bit about you from your father, who speaks at some great length about your talents and bravery. Oh, that's nice to hear. What else would you like to know? Uh, I mean, there's a lot, I guess. Well, he told me a bit about a, a friend of yours where you get your magic from. Oh, uh, Pandalia? Yes. She, she's the one that trained me. I've heard that she's Fey. Yes. I've never had the pleasure of meeting someone who has the abilities of a Fey-influenced magic. Really? I mean, do you want to see a, a trick? I would love to see something. Okay. Um... Let's see. I'll take some of the quinoa off my salad. Okay. And I (laughs) druid craft to make it sprout. Oh, okay. I mean, that's a small thing. I can also do more big things, but they hurt stuff more. (laughs) I believe you. So, would that grow into a full plant? Yeah. So you can take the prepared remains, essentially, of a plant and cause it to bloom again. I mean, yeah. How marvelous. Do they act my not know how to do that? Oh, I'm sure they do, but unfortunately, I get to spend so very little time with the circle or many other companies that I would call enjoyable. 
It can also cause a tidal wave. Do you want to see that? <laughs> Perhaps when we are outside sometime. Oh, okay. That's probably a good idea. It would get things wet. Yeah. And how about you, good sir? Oh. Tell me about yourself. Well, um, I grew up in the, the Fervent Wilds. Uh, a different part than Different me. part. I was in the forested area. I was in the swamp. Mm -hmm. I believe that would place you farther east. Mm hmm Yes, that is true. And um, one day when I was quite young, everybody in my village disappeared, and I lived alone for a while until Lan Firan came and taught me about the Order of Ramardan. And so I became uh, a disciple and, and <clears throat> member of the Order of Ramardan and am on a quest to slay the beast. Elan Furin, you said? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, could you describe him a bit for me? Well, quite an elderly elven folk who wore um, green and, and silver armor and... Um, Did he have a big mustache that was all like no. silly? He, he was not a silly person. He was a very serious person. <laughs> you never talked about taught me, them. Who taught me the skills of, of using uh, the weapons of, of Remardin. And he said that he was on a, on a mission to slay the beast. I did not know what the beast was and still do not, but um, I have learned a bit that perhaps the beast is an evil within us all, which would make slaying it quite difficult. Now if you just go around murdering everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what he meant. <laughs> Can you tell me, how long ago did you meet Lanfuren? Oh, many, many years. Maybe 40. 40 years? Mm. As far as I can remember. I'm not good at remembering the time. That's like math that keeps getting bigger. Mm -hmm. Did he ever tell you worst kind of where math. he came from? Um, Wasn't he connected to the Tashiranun? Well, he came from the same place where the Tashiranun came from, but he was not a Tashiranun, he was Remardin, which I have come to learn was a companion of the Tashiranun when it was first formed, but that there was some sort of separation early on, very, very long time ago. The... Tashir Anun, or the Order of Tashir, they follow his teachings, which preach strength above all else, which speak mostly of might and power. Mm. And those who have it should exercise it to the benefit of those who do not. That is close to one of the tenets of the Code of Remardin. If you are weak, I will be strong for you. Tashir and Remardin were once close friends. Tashir was a disciple of Remardin. Remardin founded an order. They were an order of monks. They were famed diplomats, negotiators, peacekeepers. They traveled all over the continent, ensuing peace wherever they went. That is a good thing. I wish we could do something like that. In the time when they were not negotiating, they devoted themselves to practicing the arts of fighting, using any weapons that they preferred. They treated it like a sort of meditation. Some of it like a dance. I'm told it was a beautiful art. My great-great-grandfather wrote about it in a journal. Do you still have this journal? Yes, we do. It is in the Royal Library. I've had the pleasure of reading through it. Would it be possible for me to see such a thing and read it? I shall make it available to you. 
Is it in a language I can read? Well, not knowing all of your linguistic abilities, I can't say if it is or isn't, but should it not prove to be something that you are capable of comprehending, I will make sure to have a translator available for you. Well, I look forward to this. Thank you. I once knew a non Hmm. He was a high lord within the Kosterian nobility. Rumor has it that he was deeply entwined with the Tashir Anun, which have, as I'm sure you've come to understand now, turned into a rather paramilitary force within the country, untouchable because of their connections with nobility, but never able to gain much power because their ideas are too radical. Hmm. The Le- Lan Firan I knew was not a member of Tashir Anun. He was a member of Ramardan. Hmm. Perhaps you did not know all that you thought you knew about him. It could be a different person entirely. But perhaps you should devote some time to learning a bit more about Kosterian noble houses. Hmm. And where might I learn this? Do you have that in your library? We have a great many catalogs on the noble houses of Kosteria. If it is one and the same, Lan Firin, his last name, would be Komara. And can you spell that? That would be K-O-R. M A R A E A. I did not know that Lan Ferran had more names than that. The Costerians are very protective of their last names. Many of them are Elven. Those who are not often have elven blood in them, bestowing quite a long life. When you live for hundreds upon hundreds of years, far longer than any of us dwarves typically do, and our lives are already long enough, you tend to consider the repercussions of your actions and reputation a bit more than perhaps us more shorter-lived mortals do. It would be worth your time to look into that. Hmm. I would be very surprised because Lan Ferran was definitely of the order of Ramardan. He might have been both. Hmm. Yeah. For you. I'm nine, Slim Tabaxi Bard. I famously performed at two birthdays in a riverboat. And the Blackwell Bar in Nordfeld, I set you up there as an agent. Marvelous. He used to tour with the voice. Yeah, and I hate that guy. You, you and know I he stole my grandfather's loot? Well, you and I are of the same mind on the opinion of the voice. Do you hate him personally or just his music? Oh, why can't he be both? Well, he can, but which one do you hate more? I've had the displeasure of actually meeting him. Really? So have I! <laughs> I got to meet him, too. <laughs> you got to be him! Yeah. Oh, should I? I've no! Also, oh. I've also had the displeasure of cleaning up one of his messes. Ooh. Like well, a, we got him like, arrested or something. Like a, like a poop? Was his mess as bad as the mess we have left, Wu? Was I it the crab stop mess? I have been led to believe that you three at the time uh, Obviously, Holwyn had not joined you yet. But you three had been the target of his wrath in Krebstadt. Yeah. You blew him a perfectly good beach. As I am told, I have Ecological close terrorism. sources that described your escape. Hmm. Spying on us and writing us down. Is it you? 
I see you write down all the time. Yeah, I didn't bring my journal this time. <laughs> A good monarch ensures that they have eyes and ears at all levels of the society to Gross. tell them not what just their advisors wish them to know, but to understand what the everyday person is going through. Great, now I have, oh. on my roster of questions, I have to ask, what's the tragic backstory? What do you think happened to Fervin? And are you the eyes and ears of a monarch? Uh, before all those questions, can you do us a favor? And what favor is that? Uh, we have a friend in jail. Could you release him? He was charged for a crime he didn't do. And which friend be this? Dromar. Goblin Rogue. Ah. A Dromar has long since been freed from prison. Oh. What yeah. do I want? Good. Hmm. He probably went to join the Thieves Guild. Dromar has been dispatched on personal service to myself. Is he your eyes and ears? One Those are pretty many. small ears. No, they were pretty big they're ears pretty for his size. Ears, yes. But little beady eyes. Little, okay. One of many sets. Hmm. He has more eyes now. Unfortunately. Where did he hide his other eyes? It is unlikely. He didn't wear clothes, really. <laughs> yeah, we would know exactly where his extra eyes are. It is unlikely that he has a chance to meet the three of you again. He will be working far, far away from here. Mm. <laughs> the other room. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> he became the target of very powerful individuals who threatened his life. Mm. When someone attempted to have him killed while in prison. The truth of his story came to light, and we understood that he had indeed been framed, and although not entirely innocent, mm. he had the right heart to try and not cause harm to the kingdom at that point. And so, I gave him an opportunity at clemency. He could work for me and serve the crown, as it were. He had already proven himself quite adept at being a bit of a spy. Hmm. And so he is keeping an eye on goings on in the rest of the world for me. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Yes, it is good to know that. Why is everyone looking at me right now? Because you have to finish your story. Yeah. What, what else is there? You haven't asked tragic backstory. What happened to Fervin? Well, I went over my bad tragic backstory. My loot was stolen, and I had to work with the voice for a few years. What do you think happened to Fervin? I am. Um... Oh, you probably have like stuff you're not at liberty to discuss. Because I you? think you should tell us those things. <laughs> as I cast suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thank God she's not wearing any jewelry that protects her from charm effects. I wish that I could, but I cannot. Why not? For your protection. That's the so, first time anyone has cared about my protection. So I have a theory about this. Is that a lot my conspiracy? <laughs> no. I, I do think, though, that Fervin's explosion is what has led to this cult stuff. I think that's what's lead, letting him bleed into our plane. That the explosion opened is up what a, triggered a, a, a rift the or a sort of a portal. Yeah. Not not the explosion that let the Fae in. No, that was way earlier. Mm -hmm. But I do think Fervin had something to do with the leaks that we're experiencing now with the cult. Hmm. The extra, extra planar leaks. Yeah, there was a rumor that Furman was playing around with like interdimensional stuff. Anyway. So you cannot tell us anything about Furman at all? What I can this? tell you that he is deeply misunderstood. Hmm. I met him once when I was a child. And I always remember him being incredibly kind. 
did he have any cool hat? Or... He rarely chose to wear a hat. Mm. Write that down. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> Write it down. Like that that's a secret. That's, that's, that's a really important clue. It could be. <laughs> if you didn't wear a helmet, that might be why you had an accident. Look, we already had situations where we talked Fervent. to people in the past. Yeah. Someone Fervent. might try to be fervent. Yeah. And if they're wearing a hat, we'll know it's not him. Thank you. Yeah. So is there any information that can be shared about fervent within your libraries? Or about fervent technology? I have a few books that I can make available to you. Most of our research materials are, however, kept within our research libraries and are still potent enough to need to remain a secret. Speaking of hats, I have your hat. I'm, I'm sorry. I go through my bag to get that tiara. Yeah, the uh, Ulstein Grotfels stole your hat. We, we found it when we were at a birthday party there. Mm -hmm. It was just... It was Glynby's birthday. Yeah. She wore a birthday suit. Also, we had nothing to do with the following uh, consequences of no, that party. No, we were victims. I'm sure that she didn't. I think she nice. probably knows. She bought that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she didn't write, uh, roll an insight check, so we know we're going to clear. It's quite funny that you bring this back to me. Like, ha ha funny? Or? Indeed. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> you see, this is. Well, it was a wedding gift. Mm. The Grotfeld family had made quite a name for themselves in centuries past. On the other side of the mountains, they had formed what they called the Iron Duchy. Their empire of mining had grown large enough to rival any of that here in Glintra. They had, well, how polite can I say this? Um, adamantly sought the hand of one of the Ulfstein family. It is my great, great, great aunt who finally, as I'm told, put it, decided to get them to shut up hmm. and agreed to wed, but only if they were to make her a diadem of the utmost beauty and an entire home for her to live in by herself, away from all of the others. They agreed. They had two children that went on to create the Ulfstein Grotfeld line. This diadem that you brought me back is indeed hers. You? I read that they poured near on half of their family's fortune into this in eras past. Hmm. So that's probably worth something then. Probably. We, I bet you could have sold that for many platinums. Like three? Yeah, mm. that's a lot. And that it contains the finest metals from the mountains and some of the rarest jewels. I believe it's actually made out of pure mithra. We could have melted it down. I made a shirt. Yeah. A lot of the Gratfels are made out of pure mithra. And if you were to take this tarnish off, she grabs a bit of her robe and starts polishing a bit of it. Mm. Yes. <laughs> You'll see that it reveals resplendent sapphires. This crown is uh, quite sure to put them in a foul mood. 
and few things make me happier than a Gratfell having a bad day. Are there very many Gratfells left? Me too. Uh, yeah. Mm. I'm sure there's a lot of extended family. We let that cousin, we help that cousin escape. Oh, yes, that is true. Well, I am glad that we were able to return to you this this ancient artifact of your family. Uh-huh. It's this priceless artifact that we will get a reward for. <laughs> hmm. I'm quite aware that you have an estate here on the mountain. Mm. Yeah. Yes. We found the deed in a cave. And it's not, and it's under litigation though, because there's a a, a lady with porcelain donkeys. Mm-hmm. In exchange for returning the crown, I shall make your legal troubles go away. Oh. And fully repair the house? I can see that the bill of repair is submitted here to the palace. <gasps> that is wonderful. Wow, this is the biggest reward we have ever gotten for any job. Yeah. In any game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is most welcome. Thank you very much. We are looking forward to not having a dilapidated house. <laughs> We're looking forward to just having a house, I think. Mm. This will make a fine piece here in the public museum. Is it going to have our names next to it? Oh, yes. You mm. have returned it. Donated by the Midnight Brunch or, re- like, rediscovered by the Midnight Brunch, something like that. How about recovered? Ooh, recovered is good. That's a good word, yes. yes it's make sure won't put a target make on Make sure it says that the explosion in Iron Vale had nothing to do with its recovery. I wouldn't dream of mentioning it. Okay. And now, I would like to give you a proper introduction to my son, who you have rescued. Hmm. She presses a little button and the door opens and her son, Nular, walks in. Were you just standing there the whole time? Uh, well, no, I wasn't. Well, how long were you standing there for? A minute or two. Because that was pretty cool. Yeah, it also would have been awkward if you weren't standing there. Um, here in the palace, we practice quite a few things like this. We should <laughs> practice cool entrances. We really need it. <laughs> As those practiced in the art of diplomacy know... That is not us. <laughs> I am very impressing person. with performance, <laughs> timing, and perfection mm-hmm. is as important as, well, impressing with policy. If you show that you are perfectly organized to your opponent at the negotiating table, they may think twice before they try to take advantage of you. Oh. So, you could try that instead of suggesting. Here we are. <laughs> Suggestion never failed, except just now. So, are you liking the palace more <laughs> than yourself? <laughs> You're great at I... small talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I do find small... that <laughs> the palace is far preferable to <laughs> staying in the sewers. Hmm. I had. Which been... one smells better? Yeah, the palace by several leagues. I had been in the sewers for, well, by my count, at least two months. Hmm. So this is a quite welcome return. And I thought I should, at the very least, give my personal thanks and gratitude, uh, now having cleaned up on both sides, to my rescuers. We, my mother and I, cannot possibly fully express our gratitude for my safe return. Your mother is doing a pretty good job of trying, though, I must say. She's well practiced. Mm -hmm. I regret that any of this was necessary. And although I realize I am not guilty, I still feel the burden of responsibility to keep this city safe. Since you are unfortunately burdened with the knowledge of these cults, 
their activities and their goals. I felt it only proper for you to have a chance to discuss with me further what I observed and my experiences. Oh, you have yet more information about uh, the Entrops and perhaps the others as well? Well, I don't know how much information more I have, but I thought it best to share what I do. Hmm. I was able to observe in my time that <clears throat> they, unlike some of their brethren, which I have come to learn about, they truly attempt not to murder people. You mean the end drops? Correct. Others, which they met with rather disastrously one time, seem to be plenty keen on providing a string of bodies to their horrifying god. Like the Nagata in Nordfell. I was able to spend almost two months observing them. I did not want to return to the palace once I had secured my own freedom and escaped, because I thought if they perhaps believed me dead, they would ignore my mother. We've already taken into security those who helped kidnap me. There are many of us from all walks of life in the city who were kidnapped. I came to understand that they believed us threats. They thought we could wield power and influence and ensure that they could not take control, that we would lead a resistance against their movement. Muriel was one such victim although her capture was noticed far longer after it actually happened. Perhaps that's a hazard when one spends most of their life living in a sewer. She also sends the regret to <clears throat> Did she send more curry? She said that if you wanted more curry, Maybe a week or so before she can prepare another batch. Because that stuff is really good. We would like, like to meet her again before we left. <laughs> it's like getting a full rest in a, in a camp. And a <laughs> I'm sure we can arrange for more meetings. The Egmar Nodal have their own issues to sort out at this point. I spent a lot of time skulking about in the sewers, hiding from them, listening to their plans. I don't know what you gained out of them, but most of it seemed like mad ramblings to me. All obsessed with some sort of extra divine entities. Extra, See? extra. Yes. I believe that they may have some evidence of their existence, given the devastation wrought on our sewer system. But I I don't know what powers mortals could wield that could possibly do more harm than what they've already done. Hmm. Well, the entity that we had in the battle with was, uh, was not one of the mortals, no. no. It was definitely something very different. It leaked through. Mm-hmm. It was, I'd say, 20, 25 feet tall. Mm -hmm. It was made out of papers. That were covered with runes that hurt to look. It had wings. It could summon massive walls of radiant energy. 
They could raise the dead over and over and over. Yeah, shove their souls back into their bodies against their will. That was pretty weird. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Um, Nula is also listening intently. It <coughs> uh, could shift you around in oh, space. Yeah. It did that to you a few times. It created voids into nothingness in the floor of the of the sewer. It seemed to be aligned with cold energy, cold ice, cold and <coughs> ice, because it seemed to be weak to fire. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? It floated and it seemed to be, it. It did what sort of damage? You called it radiant? Radiant damage. Yeah. It's also loud. Very loud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have reports that some of those noises were heard all the way on the surface. Mm. Well, that would scare the hell out of me if I was like a kid, just like trying to sleep. Yeah. And then like the sewer exploded mm-hmm. after you heard it. <laughs> so whatever it your was. Your parent comes in and was like, that was your fault. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't watch. <laughs> You left the toilet seat up, Timmy. It's your fault. Yes, but it was definitely something very, very different than other things that we have met. You should actually probably talk to Dole about it. He's seen these things before. Well, he saw the 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 Nagata one, mm-hmm. like space that they were opening in Nordfeld. I shall have contacts reach out to. This doll. I, I doll? He is Ilsirin. <laughs> hey, doll? That will not work in here. Oh. Why not? There are protective magics that secure this room from prying eyes. Hmm. And ears. I cast a spell. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and it would be best if I did not personally have contact from any part and anyone in Ilsirin. Why is that? Let's just say it's a diplomatic disagreement. Mm. What does that mean? We don't exactly see eye to eye with all the policies of the Osirian Confederacy. Mm. Ah, perhaps that is why the High Lady of the House of Discovery was invited to leave. That is correct. Mm. Um, seem nice. I do wonder, the door is still open that Nular came in through. Um, Commodore Parrington, did you hear all of that? Do you have any ideas? And a gentleman walks in the room who looks vaguely familiar. He says, well, if anyone knows how to get into trouble, it's these three. It's the captain. <laughs> it's... Is it the captain? <laughs> and that's where we all pick up next time. Well, what did you call him? Commodore Parrington. Commodore? We'll pick that up next time. He's a smuggler. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that session. And in the meantime, (laughs) stay safe. We love you. That can't be. Bye-bye.